Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Like a dweeb I am, I forgot to film an intro, so this video is going to be about my denim collection. Yay! So first we're starting off with my go-to shorts. Now the image is horribly depicted, but these are what they are. I love the flowers on them. So also the fact that it's a bit high-waisted, it keeps my food belly hidden. And it's not too short because I'm a little bit insecure with my booty booty. So that's great. I paired it with this brick color shirt because if you know anything about me, you know I like color coordinating things and that red on the jean needs to match the top. Put on your Vans, put on your cute black bag with hand sanitizer and you're good to go to the beach or wherever the kids go these days. Do they go to the skate park? My sister goes to the skate park. Talking about skate park, these denim actually remind me a lot of biker shorts and I really love how comfortable they are. Especially the fact that they're high rise and they're kind of like skinny jeans but comfy. Since the bottom is quite streamlined, I wanted the top to be a little bit more extravaganza so it's not all like tightly fitted. Hence I wore this bell top but you could wear any kind of sweater or like a big t-shirt that would also look good with this kind of shorts. Here's me being a perfectionist about what shoes I should wear because it doesn't match my bag and it's not the right shape that I wanted and the right kind of feet silhouette. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I question my own mind. But guess what? At the end I went back to the same shoe. Wow Christina. You wasted 10 minutes of your life trying to figure out what shoes you should wear. So I've been really into Totally Spies. I'm on my season 4. I've watched this over and over again. And I love Sam. I love her outfit. I love her moto. And I just resonate with her and her style. And so this look is actually inspired by her. Now let's talk about my favorite feature of this pair of jeans. It's the two freaking pocket and the line running down to hell. Like I love that it makes it so much more interesting than something that's plain. And I love the flared bottom, especially when you pair it with like wedges because it makes you look ultimately the tallest when you ain't really tall like me. I noticed that I'm very big on color scheme. Like for instance, if I wear something pastel on the bottom, on the top, it has to kind of follow the same scheme or else it just doesn't look cohesive. So I paired it with this grandma looking shirt and BAM! It looks so cute together. I just love it. But, but, but Christina, you said only pastel color. Why are you wearing that brown bag with your brown shoes? Because they match and I wanted to throw in a little bit of a contrasting factor and not just pastel. Now let's talk a bit of accessories. I added on this kind of silver choker to match with the silver on the metal on my bag, what you call it, thing thing. But I love hoops with this outfit. Just a fair warning, you wouldn't want to wear a choker with the earring because it might look a bit too congested like you're stuck in traffic and you're just like, I feel congested. Since we're already in flared land, let's go into my next favorite pair of flared jeans. These jeans fit my booty but doesn't fit my waist so I need to resort by putting on a belt so that when I walk it doesn't start falling down and I'm flashing people. Wouldn't want to do that. I call this the all time Steve Job power move but not really outfit. I paired the jean with this half sleeve black shirt crew neck just to keep it simple. Because it's summer, you might want to protect yourself from the hot heat, so add in a pop-up color with this bucket hat. Or not. 
Moving on to the next staple item of my closet is this two-tone jean. I love this jean. It's like those clown, like it's like, hey, I'm this color, but not really. And I paired it off with ultimately the OG stripey crop top just for that like back to school chic kind of look, you know, casual, but yeah, and then throw in some pop of color. I feel like you should at least have one pair of really skinny jeans. This pair is the most expensive pair of jeans I've ever owned and that's just because the Levi's were on sale and me and my boyfriend were like, let's get a pair each, you know, because they're high quality, so why not? Now because these were a bit too long for me, I cuffed them up and paired them up with this nice strappy spaghetti shoe. And this rectangular neckline makes the outfit so much more looking like a rich British Oatman lady. I love it. Because the outfit is a little bit bland, I added in this head scarf in order to give it a pop color and a shoulder bag to just make the whole outfit more bougier. That completes my rich British woman look. I'm sure by this point you must be overwhelmed by all the jean long boys. So let's get into denim skirts. I am so happy that denim skirts evolve into something that makes your lower body look longer rather than your upper torso. This is the only denim skirt I own and I love it. The color and the fade and the pockets. So I paired it off with this cottage core shirt and the bra strap really contrasts between like are you gonna be super cottage core or are you gonna be soft grunge and you see I kind of tie in the element of masculinity and femininity. Femininity? Femininity? Hi, I'm editing Christina so I just wanted to chime in a little bit and wanted to say that I think femininity and masculinity are two very subjective concepts and I don't think there's a framework and I don't think there's something that you can say this is more feminine or this is masculine. So I just wanted to put that out there that I was trying to refer to contrasting concepts rather than concept of which are masculine and feminine because that's really subjective also. So now we head on to the straight cut jean, you know, where it's just nice and vibing. I feel like all of my jeans have some form of cuts on them, like cassaway vibe, and that makes it really unique to how they look. I paired it with this spaghetti tiny string top, which is this muted green, and I'm super into that color, along with this bag, which is the darker shade of that, and my trusty, nasty Adidas shoes. And that's the look, guys. I really like this look. Um, I don't really wear spaghetti straps a lot, but I like it. Last but not least, keep the best for the last, my favorite all-time pair of jeans. It's this embroidered flower boyfriend jean with biggest holes you've ever seen. Like, I've worn it so much, the hole was small before, and now it's like, you can see through me, through my knees. Again, I paired it with a white shirt. Honestly, it looks so put together. You could go anywhere with this look. Maybe not a fancy restaurant, but it just looks really put together, and I, I would wear this forever. If that's the only thing I could wear, I would wear this. That's it for today guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. But for now, bye!